Hi there! Records are meant to be broken. If you didn't know by now, records in cricket is very breakable. Nowadays, records are being broken more consistently than ever in every tour, seasons, tournament or even the World Cup. But today, we will be discussing 5 records in cricket that can be broken in the upcoming days or so. This is WCA. Cue the intro. <laughs> This is just my opinion and it's not meant to hurt anybody by any ways. I am sure you have your own opinion and I respect it. Be sure to comment your opinion in the comment box to see how much of our opinion we both sync with. With that said, let's get to the video. Number 5. Lasith Malinga The Sri Lankan legend is not only one of the greatest bowlers of the game, Lasith Malinga has had a great success in T20s and T20 leagues around the world. Most notably, his performances in the Mumbai Indians franchise in the Indian Premier League. Not only he became the greatest bowler of the IPL, he bagged a massive 170 wickets in just 122 matches. Now, I know 122 is kinda big, but 170 wickets in 122 matches is just unbelievably huge. He also notably has the best bowling figure by any bowler in the history of Big Bash League picking 6 wickets for just 7 runs against Perth Scorchers. But he retired in 2021 in the September from all forms of franchise cricket, still being the highest wicket taker in the Indian Premier League. His record might last for another season or so, but the competition in IPL is increasing day by day and bigger and bigger every day. New talents rising every season, the old players getting back their old form. There are players like Rashid Khan who has been playing IPL since 2017 and already has 93 wickets under his cap. This is unbelievable. Just 5 seasons, 93 wickets. That's 18.6 wickets every season. And we have IPL veteran Dwayne Bravo who has 167 wickets. Just 4 away. If Bravo is playing IPL 2022 and is awarded the chance in the playing level, then Lasith Malinga's record is sure to be gone. So that's why it's number 5. Because it's pretty breakable in the next season or so. Let's get to number 4. Number 4. Rohit Sharma's century record in T20 Internationals. Centuries in test are good. Centuries in one day internationals are always brilliant. Centuries in T20s are always mind blowing. Currently, the most centuries in T20 International is in the hands of the hitman Rohit Sharma with 4 international centuries. Unless and until Rohit Sharma itself scores another T20 International 100, it can be broken by any player, literally any player. Colin Munro from New Zealand is just one century away from breaking this record. India's new vice captain KL Rahul is just two centuries away from breaking this record or any other player with good batting performances can be able to break this record in just a few series or matches. So, it's always breakable unless and until the newly appointed Indian captain of the white ball scores another century. Who knows, maybe an unexpected player may break this record. So, that's why it's at number 4. Number 3. Andre Russell Strike rate is rather a controversial term in cricket, but now, we look at the highest strike rate in one day internationals. Andre Russell, the six hitting machine of West Indies, has the strike rate of 130.22 in one day international, and it is the highest strike rate by any batsman in one day. Since cricket is getting powerful hitters day by day by day, it is rather possible for a player to break this record in just a few matches or series. I can think of players like Sam Curran, Vegateshire, uh, Ishar Kishan or even Glenn Maxwell, who happens to be the second most highest strike rate in the list, to break this feat or Dre Russell coming back to one day international side of West Indies and breaking this record himself. Who knows? Number 2. Glenn McGraw The Australian veteran has achieved many great things throughout this career. He's one of the main reasons that Australian cricket team was the mightiest during their era in 1990s to 2010. 
it's still there. Medgrath was one of the main reasons for Australia to achieve this hat trick of World Cup titles during 1999, 2003, and 2007, and created a record for the most number of wickets taken by a bowler in the World Cup history, taking 71 wickets in his 12 years of World Cup. Now, there is the interesting part. Until player number five, every other top four player has retired from the game, namely Muttaya Murli Dharan, Lasith Malinga, and Wasim Akram. And number five, you probably guessed it, Mitchell Stark. This is the player I think will break the most wickets in the World Cup history record. There is no reason to deny it either. The stats even prove it. 2015 World Cup, he joined highest wicket takers with Trent Bolt, picking 22 wickets. And 2019, man. He was a monster, picking 27 wickets. He just played two World Cups and he already has 49 wickets. 49 goddamn wickets. Unless and until Mitchell Stark gets injuries or his performance goes sideways and not getting picked in the World Cup, which is, has zero possibility at this point, will be the new highest wicket taker in the upcoming World Cup. I'm sure of it. He's just 20 or more wickets away from the highest wicket taking list. So it's pretty possible for a player like Mitchell Stark. So let's hope and see. Number one, Rohit Sharma. Now, now, relax, chill out. As I was saying, this is just my opinion. But hear me out, I have a valid explanation. Let's give the backstory first. In 2014, Rohit Sharma shocked the world by smashing 264 of 174 balls with 33 fours and 9 sixes, staying in the grease for 227 minutes. Simply the goat. But I disagreed with this record, remember? Okay, okay, chill out. As I was saying, it's possible to break this record. Cricket is becoming a worldwide sport day by day with talents arriving from every corner of the world. It is most likely a new, hard-hitting, top batter batsman like Prithvi Shaw or even Evan Lewis have high chances of breaking it. Or even veterans like Martin Kaptil who scored 200 in the World Cup of 2015. And maybe the association plays, you know, the UAE ones has high chances. Who knows, it's even possible. But... It can even be broken by the man itself, Rohit Sharma, as he is a, one of the top top players of the Indian cricket in the recent times. Appointed as the captain recently, he is performing beautifully with his bat in the recent times. It should be no surprise that even Rohit Sharma can break this record at this point. So I, I just want to give out my opinion. That's it. That's my explanation. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, do subscribe and hit the like button. As I already said, I didn't mean to offend anyone by, by any way. So take care until I see you next time. This is WCA. Sayah.